Very nice to meet you, and yes, I am Swedish. Uh, that is though not everything I am. I'm also one of few people in the world who's ever been thrown off a bus for talking to the bus driver. <laughs> you don't think that's possible, but there is this sign that says, do not talk to the bus driver. And they are serious. <laughs> and he was the one starting the conversation. He started by going, you know, we're gonna go to strike soon, not because we need more money, but because we need more rest, because every other profession gets 12 hours rest between shifts, we only get 11, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and after a while I had to say, well, don't you think it evens out in the long run? He was like, why, what do you mean? Well, you became a bus driver because you rested so much in school. <laughs> after that, my ticket wasn't valid anymore. <laughs> so, um, did you guys know that it's illegal in Sweden to check in a midget as baggage in the airport? <laughs> I found out the hard way. <laughs> Actually, for real, well, I, I got arrested. It was one of the, perhaps the show that he saw when he was in Sweden. We, it was Balls of Steel, the Swedish version. And, and yeah, we were trying to think out something that would make for good candid camera. And I was talking to my friend Ricky. He's a midget. <laughs> or as he likes to be called, Ricky. <laughs> We had this idea, wouldn't it be a great idea if you were to jump into a sports bag and we go to the airport and as soon as we get there I lift you up on the baggage conveyor belt and as you, soon as you pass by the woman there you just open up the zipper, jump up and shout, ta-da! That would make excellent candid camera, everybody's gonna love it, that's not what happened. <laughs> Everything went wrong. To begin with, he was a lot heavier <laughs> than one might expect. <laughs> so it's very difficult. I get him out on the belt and the woman at the check-in reacts immediately and goes like, Oh my god, this is heavy. Yes, yes. Yes, you know what it's like? You collect a lot of stuff during the years and stuff. Yeah, but this is so heavy, I'm gonna have to charge you extra. Charge me extra? No, can't do that. So I open up the zipper and I go like, Ricky, it's gonna get too expensive. You're gonna have to go as hand luggage. <laughs> and that's when the guards showed up. And they were not happy. They were very angry, but only with me. <laughs> he was the one on the belt. <laughs> But they were upset with me and started to shout things like, What were you thinking? What were you thinking? And I was like, I'm oh, sorry, I should have known better. I was fully grown. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, before this aired on Swedish TV, everybody said the same thing. They said that, well, you're gonna get into so much trouble when this airs, you're gonna get hate mail. Hate mail? From who? From the Society of Short People. <laughs> you're gonna get hate mail from the Society of Short People. And I was like, I don't think so. My letterbox is placed pretty high. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. The last time I performed in the UK, I got booed off stage. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, know, for real. Uh, it was this tiny little club in, in Angel. Uh, yeah, like... Islington. Islington. Islington, yeah. That's where it was. And it was like 20 people in, in the crowd and they were very, very drunk and they started talking immediately. And while I was talking, someone shouted up on stage, What Swedish porn like? What is it that? Well, I said, like British, but with good-looking people. <laughs> they did not react like that. <laughs>